two to them. Okay. And his turn is done. Next go is Almond. I don't like this ghost. He's an asshole. Go to there. Train abusing bastard. And I, I, I don't get it ready my two attacks, correct? I can just ready the the one. Correct. Extra attack is for when you take the attack action on your turn. Ah, okay. Um, I will, uh, like I said, ready my attack. And Gimbal, your turn. Um, I'm going to stay right here um, and ready an attack to attack him when he appears. Syndicate your turn. This time, if he's immune to fi uh, frost, I'll ready firebolt. Quintosis, your turn. Uh, I will also ready firebolt. Bane, your turn. I ready vicious mockery. Juanrico, your turn. I can I move? You might be muted. Yeah, you can move. Oh, sorry. I'll just ready an attack in case something pops out. Okay. He does try and pop out one more time. So there. Everyone take your rated attacks. Quintosis, range spell attack of an 11. He is armor class 11. So that's it. Die, hit. motherfucker, die! So 11 fire. It's easy to fire. He's resistant to fire, so he takes 5 fire. Yeah, Look at Cinder Kit, though. He crit. Nice. Oh. Okay, that was 20. Quintosis Almond. You hit with a 20 for 7 bludgeoning. That's full damage to him. You can Crappy stun. Crappy maxed his uh, crit damage, too. I think you can stun. The, uh, I think he might be dead after Syndricate's damage. You gotta decide now. Uh, n no. Okay, Syndricate, you hit by a mile and did 28 points of fire damage to him. He takes 14 of that. Um, after Syndricate is Juanrico, 11. I think that's a hit. Yeah, I missed. No, 11's is a hit. Is that a hit? Yeah. You do three piercing to him. That drop him? Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> Bane. Oh, target can hear you, yeah. 2d4 is psychic and disadvantage. 14 was C is immune to psychic here. He's like immune to everything. But psychic. So that's why I took chose psychic, man. So that's he's a bear totem barbarian? Wisdom what? save. Fails that. So it takes the full three. Get wrecked. <laughs> and... You're uh, wrecked and you come back and you pussy. Stop running away. <laughs> Let's see. He is going to try and... Hmm. i got to roll a couple of these sixes here. Oh, uh, I'm also going to put a modifier on myself to let you know that I'm still concentrating on the spell. Okay. Not dead. All right. He will do a withering touch on some random person here. He's got three choices, and it is the middle one. So, Cinder Kit. I hate you. Withering touch. 19 to hit. <laughs> Screw you. I cast shield. <laughs> Good timing on the shield spell, because that was 20 necrotic damage. And then he moves back. Um, wait, Zen, did you take a ready to action? Took it right. Oh, that's right. That's my reaction. I get hit by that. One team. Boy, that was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to make a constitution saving throw. All right. And then he retreats back through the wall. Thankfully, uh, my spell is saved. The attack of opportunity, right? No, because you already took your reaction. Oh, okay. Okay. So he goes back to there. And that's it for him. I'm in your turn. Um, God damn it! Why haven't I been using freaking sacred flames? Uh, ready. <laughs> ready in attack. I don't know. It. Okay, we're gonna go out of rounds now because he doesn't come back. Second, that's intimidated does not by come the fire back. damage. No, because he heard uh, Syndricate go. Why haven't I been using sacred flames? <laughs> yeah, he's like, I don't want any part of that. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know why he wasn't using it either. That's why I kept going back. Are, are you sure it wasn't my insults? I'm pretty sure I insulted him way too much and hurt his feelings. 
That's true. Uh, I see crying. Does anyone have a healing spell? I took twenty damage. <laughs> <laughs> I I healed myself up. What? <laughs> no. what? Aren't you, wait, aren't you a level of cleric or something? Are, are you the only I cleric have in the party? Healing word. It's not very potent. I'll I'll do uh, level one cure wounds on you. That's all I really want. Do you need to make a concentration check too, Syndicate? I already did. Did you make it? I made it. How long does minute meters last? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. I don't know how much time has passed, but I know that that was five rounds in after I cast it. So about I have one minute. minute for me. Less than I one think, minute. Did you uh, heal you, yourself? Eight. Your DC is higher. Ten centricate when you take twenty damage. I think. It's just ten. No. It's what? damage oh, divided by two ten. or ten, whichever is higher. Oh wow! Nice. Hey, hey, Sin. If it was only five rounds in, then you still have nine minutes. Again, Alman. One party. One round is six seconds. <laughs> oh. Is it's it it's hard to remember this. Minutes? It's hard to remember this, but Cindricut actually is part of our group. <laughs> ten, ten minutes is the right duration. Okay. It is the right duration? Ten minutes is right, yeah. Why yeah. the hell is it so long? It will never last that long. I know. Uh, that way you can cast it before battle. Holy okay. crap, I can cast this before battles. Almond, what are you going to do? I'm going to push through the wall. Means you have to, be to the south the or east? Yeah, to the south. Okay, that everyone, is everyone going to go with Almond or are you going to separate? Yeah, that's where the I, ghost went. I yeah, want my revenge. With... Okay. Yep, I'm with him. Thank okay. you for healing. Everyone goes with them. You bet. Let's move this out of the way here. So there's a hallway. And then it there's closes ghost. behind you. So everyone move into the hallway, and then I'll close it behind you. Where's the goddamn ghost? No ghost down revenge. there that you can see. I want my revenge. Everyone should be able to see through Almond's eyes. So you guys can all just stay where you're at, and Almond, you can do the moving. And I'll let you move into position before anything bad happens. So you don't need to follow him. The walls are all bare, and um, um, here and there how far you is this hallway? You guys don't need to follow Almond. That one? Well, if we have better vision than he's got. Oh, sure. One of you could go. Ghost that one, is not so here. That one, that one dead ends, Almond. Let's go... I does, precipitation uh, mark this door. Okay. Does the door, does the wall to the south move? No. That's I'll, assume, I'll assume you investigate as you're going, and with your yes. high enough passive, I'll, I'll tell you if you see anything. You'll see you a, can't, a wall that can move. You can't move your characters through walls, that's kind of cool. Yeah. This thing here, is this a secret area? I'll investigate. Or has Almond already been? Almond, look. Yeah, he, yeah, no secret doors. The only one so far that you've been by is the one to the north. The one you just came through, I mean. How much time do I have left on this spell? Um, minutes are minutes. So look at the clock. Count down that way. you got eight minutes left. Okay, Almond, uh, to the north, right here, is a wall that moves. It's open right now, right? Nope. There's a wall right here that moves. Right above Syndicate. Ah, okay. Secret, secret. Uh, uh, push it open. Okay. Even though there's a wall drawn there, you can move through it. And we all said we're staying together, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'll let everyone move into position before anything bad happens. I'm just you making move alone. sure I'm far behind you. Yeah, keep doing it like that. Move like five Do my little time. fireballs produce light? Tom, I can't move my guy. It's okay. Just watch where Elman's going to stop there. Elman, the wall to your east moves. Okay, Here's a push question. through it. Okay. Here's a question. Do we really want to scour the entire pyramid? Well, uh, well I'm... until we figure out what we're... There might be hidden treasure, treasure rooms, man. It's a pyramid. It, it, we're sure. investigating every wall as we're going by. For yep, hidden... I'm telling you if there's uh, any. We're chalking every wall and floor, right? Yep. There's uh, another hallway back this way.
Yeah, but this is taking us back down to where we just came. So let's go back Juan up. Rico is kind of lost somewhere, so I think we gotta save him. I see Juan no. Rico in a wall. It's okay. Somehow he magically became the wall. No, this wait. Ghost -like. Alman, this, this way. This yeah, way. Alman, yeah. No, Alman, come. Yep. Any wall, Tom? No. Nope. Move? Nope. Shit. Okay. All right, come back over to where we were just at. Through that door. What about down here? No, come back up here. Okay. There you are. Oh, there's Cindricate. I didn't want Cindricate. <laughs> no one wants me. <laughs> Same team. <laughs> I screwed up and didn't put the wall there. That's supposed to be there. But anyway. Yeah, we got to the, we gotta get to a fight within five minutes. <laughs> this is how I, I make your spell run man. out. This, I'm not doing anything until Cindricate's spell runs out. Even if you do get <laughs> a secret wall, I'm not telling you where it's at. <laughs> uh, so nothing in that corner. <laughs> Gimbal, you spot a wall, uh, secret door. Um, oh, sweet. Just to the south of you, right over here. You want to push it open? I'm going to wait till everybody comes back up to where I'm at. They're there. They don't you want to push it open now? Yes, I do. Okay. I, I'm pretty sure if we yell for them, they won't actually hear us either. <laughs> what do we find here? Uh, okay, so actually, let's see here. You guys pushed the doorway. So this door is also open. So you see a hallway that goes south into a room. And the room, let's see, I'm going to move everyone so that you're all together. Because uh, we're assumed to be moving Gimble together, calls right? out, yeah. There we go. Even though we did kind of split. Almon, Juan. There's the ghost! Oh, and you found the ghost, too. Okay. Die! <laughs> Initiative? Nope, not yet. Okay. Okay, you find the center of the of the maze, and there is a body. A person who died of dehydration has been dead for a long time, likely more than a century. His gear can still be found. He had a haversack containing adventuring supplies, including empty water skins. Additionally, he had a journal. And floating over this is the ghost, floating in the air over it. I cast his sacred flames the minute I saw him. And it's going to roll initiative. Put you guys where you want to be first. No one ahead of one Rico. Damn it! No one ahead of one Rico. One person. My revenge will initiative. be sweet. One sec. There we go. Almond, you go first. So, the ghost is floating in the air above this long, desiccated corpse. Kill it. <laughs> and 11 bludgeoning, and down goes the ghost. Gone. Okay. Best fight ever. And you hear doors sliding, and you there's a doorway out of here now that was blocked before. Um, and you guys can search the body of the man. Yes. Um... You find 50 gold pieces on his person, and uh, actually no, you find 100 gold pieces total on him. I will pick Delicious. up and read the journal. The journal, its initial entries detail an excursion into the pyramid to search for treasure. These lucid entries devolve into pages and pages of the single word escape in its final entries. The journal is devoid of any dates or names, however. And when you guys um, search the maze after leaving here, you find there's a way out where I moved Vane to, which is over here. If you just keep going east there, a doorway opened. So there was nothing else in that room? Nope, nothing else in the room, just the body. Uh, anything on the east wall, Tom? No. Nope. Anything down here? Nope. You search all of it. I will say you search all of it. Okay. That way I can be sure your mouse minute meteors are gone. Okay. My minute meteors are gone then. Okay. So yeah. we're in the southeast corner of this thing then, looks like. Because nope. we've got... You, we're sending... Right here's the only exit. Oh, okay. Then let's go that way. Yep. 
Um, okay. Do we want yeah. to take a short rest? You can take two short rests today. Um, you've taken one so far. You can take another one right now, or you want to wait? Uh, wait. I want to wait. Wait. Well, wait. wait. Okay. Where does this actually lead um, to? Syndicate. What? You're hurt, right? Yeah. I'll give you a potion. All right. You killed me with the potion. <laughs> I killed you with it. What? Because I put in a negative instead of a plus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, then that's I, your fault, not mine. I think I was at 21 or 22. I don't remember what I was at a second ago. You were minus 20 plus 8. Because you took 20 damage from the ghost and I healed you 8. So you'd be yeah. at minus 12. And okay. then your 7 would be minus 5. <clears throat> So the hallway out of here leads to more winding passages of, of maze-like tunnels. Eventually, you come to a turn, and a large room opens up ahead of you. So I'll put you guys where that's at. You healed me for eight with the uh, uh, cure wounds, right? Correct. You should be at five damage. So twenty eight health. If your max is thirty three, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um make a move silently check, everyone. Or a stealth check, everyone. That would be Dex, right? Dex, yep. Is this a group one or is it's a group one, yeah. So you got a 22 and a 12 is the second best. No, that's going to be better than that because you're really good at stealth. So that's that's really good. That's an 11. I guess what I'm doing. That's not good. That's good. Okay. Uh, you guys are quiet enough that you hear uh, some talking around the corner before they hear you. And it sounds like from the, the level of speech that it's probably kobolds talking in Draconic. Yes, I speak Draconic. Does, yeah. Does that even count the fact Same. that Cindric would cast a spell right here? No, he would have done that beforehand. He went to wait until okay. I said roll initiative. But Cindric, you don't know where this place is, and you're you're going through winding tunnels and stuff like that. So chances are you could just waste your spell. So do you want to wait until combat starts to cast it, or do you want to have a yeah, chance I'll of wasting wait. it? You want to wait? Yeah. Okay. Unless we were being harassed by ghosts all the way here, I probably wouldn't do it. Yeah, no, you weren't. Okay. And I speak Draconic as well. So the kobolds are complaining about, they're muttering and complaining about not having enough food, we're lost in this maze, how are we going to get out? What do you guys want to do? I want to um, sneak forward by myself. Okay. Gimbal well, starts stealthily moving forward. Go yeah, and make a stealth check, Gimbal. So that is a 18. Does anyone want to go with him? Nope. Uh, sure, Vane goes with him. Go to make a stealth check, Vane. That's a 20. So you're nice and quiet. So you guys can peek around the corner. What do you have for light, Gimbal? You have dark vision, right? I do. Okay, so that's what you see. You can go back and tell the party what you saw. I don't there's, see there's a dark figure or two, just at the very limit of your vision. You can't see what they are exactly. And there's kobolds nearby you. How many kobolds? How near? Because I, I don't see any kobolds. You don't see any kobolds. Oh, it, it's because of my, my vision. It's No, it's my fault. Oh, okay. Oh, Almond, don't do that. Okay. Let me fix you, Almond, so you don't show everyone everything you see. Okay. Do we really care about kobolds, guys? 
Well, they're between. They're when they start shooting fire bolts at you. And they're they're between us and our objective. Okay, so right, they, but... Almond, you should be good. So you get back by hiding, hiding. Oh, Gimbal, um, you want to see what you saw? Hold on just a second. Yeah, I'd like to know yeah. what I can see. Let me uh, change the layer there on here. Okay, so there you can see. Okay, I'll move back and I'll use uh, thieves can't hand signals to um, tell everyone what's going on. Is anyone I'll else your thief? thinking that he's retarded or something? Because I have absolutely <laughs> no idea what the hell the thief can't do. Yeah, none of us have that at all. <laughs> I think that has nothing to do with the hand signals, so. though. <laughs> I'm a bard. Can I, can I figure it out? <laughs> nope, not unless you're a rogue. Um, then when I realize that they're all giving me blank sp stares, I very, very softly whisper kobolds and that I'm, I want to go in there and kill them. And I ask, what size area are they in? Oh, it was ever never up for negotiation. If, if they're speaking draconic, I hate anything related to dragons, so I was going in anyway. Here's the thing. I really want to be able to use my assassinate ability for the first time, so I would like to go in there and try to stab one of them in the back. <laughs> hey, wait. Do you have a poison kit? <laughs> I, you know what? This, this sucks so badly. I was like, I could have bought a poison kit in town <laughs> before we came here, and I forgot. And Just I like I it. forgot to enchant everyone's... Weapons and stuff with uh, continual flame. Yeah. Well, I spent the entire last session. Okay, so okay, so you guys want to sneak up? We... So this is how it'll work. Um, don't move anyone. Anyone who wants to move into a position where they're basically looking around the corner makes a stealth check. So. Do I need to make another one? Um, yeah. Go ahead and move where you want, and then make a stealth check. And that was my stealth. Oh, <laughs> I blew it. Well, so do I. This sucks. I didn't really... Uh, okay. Uh, mine's at disadvantage because I'm in armor. No, wait. Is it? So, how I don't you guys know could make it better would have been to not move in and just let Gimbal go. Yeah. If yeah, everyone, that, everyone, if that everyone moves, smart. there's a good chance they'll hear you. Does a change shirt that, provoke disadvantage is... on stealth? Um, no, I don't think so. The chain shirt. Chain mail does, but not chain shirt. Yeah, right, okay. so, so we're rolling this up like normal. I don't know what's in the room, but... If I it, also, I, I, oh. I knew we were about to fight, so should I just assume I cast Minimeters? No, because you're trying to sneak up. Yeah, because the can whole plan was for me to sneak up by myself to yeah. stab somebody. And I'm, that plan uh, obviously I'm failed. I'm sorry, Josh. I had an 18 dex. I didn't think I'd roll a 1. <laughs> So I'm going to use assassinate one way or the other this game. Question, sure. Tom. Yeah. Do it on uh, the character I, that it affects you the most. Check, right? I <laughs> yeah, I got some ideas. For, like, the lowest dex roll the corner. The one. <laughs> Say again. I have this feat called... Uh, what's it called? Where is it? Natural stealth. Uh -huh. I'm attempting to hide behind Quintosis. Uh -huh. That's myself as well. Yeah. So, can I be hidden from yeah, sight? Yeah, you can use whatever your rule was for hiding. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Okay. Mage one, what? Oh, wow, he rolled one initiative too. You know what's really sad? What's that? Oh, that's not good. I could counter magic him if I could see him. <laughs> that is kind of sad. I just like I'm thinking to myself that Gimbal's like sneaking forward, and then he hears just loud clattering behind him, and he looks back and like. So is it assumed that I'm like looking around this corner? So I'm right at the corner. You can draw a line of sight from that corner right there. To yeah, you can definitely see him from there. You don't need to move. I don't One, even two, see him. Three. I couldn't four, see him. Oh, there he is. Okay. Because of how the line Six. of sight works, it's completely cardinal. Right. Yeah. It goes from the center of your square. All right, he sees your group move forward. Moves forward and casts a spell. He's casting Cone of Cold. Do you want to counterspell that? I counterspell it. Okay, do you want to heighten your counterspell or just, well, you can't get it high enough level. Can't do it any, I can't do anything. I so can you only make an intelligence level. check, DC 15. Do you have inspiration? And he might counterspell your counterspell. 
So go to make uh, your check. Let me, okay, before you make your check. It, do I burn this or not? Why does the macro not do this for me if I'm doing it? Oh, because sometimes you roll, sometimes you don't. So you just got to roll this intelligence check. Does somebody want to give him inspiration before they do that? And he's going to. I'll actually expend my inspiration if I can. First, he's going to do a counter spell on your counter spell. Does anyone want to do anything against I that? I counter spell his counter spell. Awesome. <laughs> 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 nice. I knew okay. this would happen one day. So, uh, Vane, you automatically succeed on his spell because it's only the third level. So his spell stopped, and Quintosis, your counter spell goes against him. So make your intelligence check. I'm not Quintosis. Um, I mean no. Syndicate. Uh, yeah. Intelligence check. Advantage or not, I will use my inspiration. Oh, shoot. Ah. There. Go ahead and use your inspiration. Go for it. Okay. Inspiration use. 22. Oh, yeah. You stopped the Kona Cold spell. Oh, nice. nice. <laughs> that would have been really bad if you hadn't done that. Was that a deck save? It's a con save. Oh, yeah. Thank Jesus. Thank God. <laughs> okay, Syndicate, your turn. With my final third level slot. I cast Minute Meteors, and he can't do anything because he counter magic me. Yes, he did. He counter magic. So, yeah. now the fun part. I see this kobold standing right next to him, so he's going to eat two, mat two uh, Minute Meteors. All right. Fire away. Eight and nine, so that's four and five. The kobolds die no matter what. The mage gets two saves. Uh, dex save, made it, and dex save, failed it. So he takes 4 and 9, so 13 damage. Then, because I know he's capable of AoE spells, I move away. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't Dimble, stop them. your turn. Okay, I am going to move. I'm just going to keep the inspiration token that you're using for my con. And I'm going to uh, attack Kobold 1 with advantage, because he has not gone yet. Yep. 18 hit and died. And for my uh, bonus action, I'm going to give Almond uh, Bardic Inspiration. Okay, Almond. His is a little better than uh, Vane's. You can do a lot more with it, so there's what you can do. After Gimbal is Kobold 2. He hates gnomes. He charges forward and attacks with a dagger. Tens a miss, though. He's done. Almond, your turn. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. 20 is a hit. Yeah, let's see how it... Let's throw a little... A little stun action? Oh, I, only one, yeah. Okay. Here comes a stun save. I'm going slow. There hey, 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 wants anybody to wants to throw a portent, uh, portent on that? Uh, I think we're okay. Okay, good. <laughs> I think we're okay. You made it? Yeah. No! Okay. <laughs> good. All right, next attack. <laughs> That's a hit. I think we can kill him still. Okay, and then, well, I guess I'm not going to try to stun him. I'm going to flurry. Okay. That's a hit. I mean, he has no shield. I mean, that's and a when you're done, uh, on your last attack, if it looks like he's still, if you think he might still be standing, you can always add another d6 of damage. Knock him prone for dex save. That, really? Yeah, combat he's, inspiration. He's prone. So a uh, 15, then? A 15? Oh, well, uh, I, actually, I'm going to use my Bardic Inspiration Okay. to make it higher. Okay. Okay, add a d6. You um. hit, and you did 10 bludgeoning. Down goes the mage, unless you want to knock him out. Yeah, I'll knock him out. Mage is knocked out. I'll just move him up here. Okay, then you can move if you want. Scout well one. done, Kirk. Yeah, nice job. Are you going to move anywhere, so. Kirk? Well yeah, done, I'm, I'm team, my, because... Uh, Fixing my key. Who's the guy who counter magic the counter magic? Quintosis, okay. I think. Quinn. Um, I. Do you have an inspiration? Uh, go to there. Does I've not. already used it. 
It's a shame that you can't earn one for that. That was hilarious. Five, six. <laughs> Scout rushes forward. Um, does multi attack. Short sword on Almond. Twenty one to hit Almond for seven piercing. And then twenty three to hit for six more piercing. Next is Vane. I cast Magic Missile of One on Scout One. Uh, actually, put one missile on Cobalt Two, the first okay. one. Okay. Hey, Tom, I'm not in the initiative order, and I know I rolled initiative. Yeah. Keep rolling until you show up there. And then oh, readjust Tom. it to whatever your first roll was. That's on you guys. I can't be watching everyone's initiative. You got one job, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll, if I, I'll, I'll put you through. right after Vane. There you go. The so Cobalt takes two. Cobalt takes four, two, four. okay. Minus two. And then... Actually, Chris, you didn't roll initiative. I scrolled up. Ah, I thought I rolled... I guess I rolled it for something You else. do eight on the scout? Yes. Okay. Scout's got Hellish Rebuke, so he'll use that on you. I think that works. This. Uh, let's see if it works. Damage by creature in 60 feet you see, yeah. So you take 15 fire damage, DC 10 dex save halves it. That sucks. Ow. Why does he have that? He has Hellish Rebuke. He's a tiefling. So... Made it seem... You take 7. You take just 7. Uh... Juanrico, your turn. Nah, I... I reaction... Oh, sorry. Absorb elements. Oh, okay. So what's that now? That gives you resistance, right? Yes. So it's down from 15 to 7 to 3. Take 3. And your next melee attack will deal fire damage. I don't remember oh, the that last? Out. Absorb elements? Well, let's just click on it and find out. If we could find it. You have to expend it immediately. You do have absorb elements, right? Yeah, That's next turn. Now you can heighten it, too. Do you want to heighten it? No. Okay. Trying to make you waste your sorcery points. <laughs> you resist trigger damage type till the start of your next turn. First time you hit with melee attack on your next turn, target takes an extra d6 of damage. Fire damage. Which probably won't work that great against a uh, tiefling, but you could use it on a kobold. Because, you know, he, he doesn't have better things to do than melee attack a kobold. Yep. <laughs> okay, one. Go for it. You might be muted. All right. Kobold... Uh... Two, who I think is the only one I can see, would take. You can also 11. see Scout one. Uh, Eleven drops him. From what? Well, no, I can't. You can't Not see Scout one. Um, if you need to see where you can actually see, uh, you yeah. can move to the vertex and look at your line of sight that way. You hold down the Alt key to move Here, to the vertex. Right hold down the Alt key to move to the vertex. That way, it doesn't move All you right. to the center of a square. All right, there then I'll go. hit that guy. You didn't stun Scout 1, did you, Kirk? No. And that's a miss. 11 is a miss, yeah. Okay. After one Rico is Quintosis. All right, I'm going to... I'm going to move here. So I see... The mage is Just the Scout? Yep, just the just scout, the scout. yep. No one okay. else left in the room. All right, um, I'm going to... I'm going to chill touch the scout. That's a hit. 16 necrotic damage. Down he goes. Boom, good job. All right. Nice. You check these guys out. They are obviously Cult of the Dragon members. They have a, a Dragonborn leading them. And on that Dragonborn, he's got a spell book with him. I take the spellbook. Yep, plenty of spells in there. Nom 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 nom. Knowledge. Let's see. He has 115 gold pieces. He's got a scroll of gaseous form. Okay. The four kobolds have a combined five gold pieces and a half-eaten cat. Who wants to have gifts on the cat? <laughs> a scout has 80 gold and two potions of healing. Yeah, who didn't love a bloody pussy? Who gave up a potion of healing? <laughs> the kids uh, are in bed. <laughs> you probably should get one just because you expect Yeah, I'll take one of the potions of healing to replenish okay. the one I gave to Sin. Okay. 
We'll roll them. Uh, we'll uh, split them up officially at the end. Everything right now is temporary for everyone. Well, unless they get used. Yep, unless they get used. Which is very possible. <laughs> uh, can I skim through the book and figure out what spells it has? Uh, yeah, I'm going to give you a preview. I do just like a preview, yeah. Let's see here. Dragon Mage you. has got ones that you don't have. Might be Haste, Fly, Everett's Black Tentacles, Polymorph, Kona Cold, Big Beast Hand. So basically, I got every spell that I want. Yeah, awesome. pretty good. Does that mean level one spells? Oh uh, yeah, it does. Yeah, no. I was just reading off so, ones you guys didn't have already. Okay, so let's uh, wake the mage up and you have all the rest. Uh, bind him where uh, he can't cast any spells when he's awake. Okay. We have to gag him too. Okay. What's or the point of keeping him alive? Some method. Let's put a shield on him so he can't cast. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Dress put, him him in, in put him in some kind of armor, yeah. <laughs> put him in some leather armor. Do we have any extra leather armor from those uh, <laughs> scout from the scout? Take the scout leather armor off the scout and put it on the mage. And then he can't cast. There you go. <laughs> More or less, I want to see what his reaction to this will be upon waking up. What the fuck? You made my AC better. What? All right, so I guess we wake him up. He wakes up, thinking in his head, what kind of metagaming bastards am I dealing with here? <laughs> 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 and uh, let's see here. He is not one to talk, but uh, intimidation check, don't roll. You're going to make one roll with advantage if several of you help. That okay, would be charisma. Who's our best, our most charismatic fellow? Well, I'm the most charismatic, but I am not proficient with I'm intimidation. My, uh, I have a uh, plus three to my intimidation. I'm um, plus four to it. I got a plus four um, to my... Uh, plus six to intimidate. I have a negative one. I'm clearly the most charismatic. Who's plus, wait, who's plus six to intimidate? Vane. All right, well then, Vane, you're our intimidator. The halfling gets all up in his grill. Advantage. Yeah. Dangles his little good berries in his yep. mouth and yep. <laughs> Take off oh. my pants and moon him. I don't. No, wait. I don't know if that's a good idea because you know the mage still has. Wait, teeth. he's dragonborn, right? He does have a breath weapon, most likely. <laughs> Move to the side of it. Good, good berries might be dangling. All right, here goes the roll. Oh yeah, he's intimidated by you guys. You guys are able to get out of him everything he knows. He's a Cult of the Dragon member. They are here looking for um, lost relics from the old sorcerer that lived here before so they can use it to further the advances of the Dragon Cult. And they're trying to beat the uh, Zentarum who are here before them, they think. Not Zentarum. Um, Red Wizards. The Red Wizards of Thay are here. I was about to say, it's kind of a weird place for a Zentarum to yeah. be. Nope, the Red I, Wizards I, uh, are here, and the Red Wizards are ahead of them. I thought they were allied with the Red Wizards. I'm here because I got a job! They are, <laughs> you think, allied with the Red Wizards, so it's odd that he would be in conflict with them. You don't know, he tells you that this Red Wizards is a renegade, and not uh, not acting according to their alliance. Uh, while, while we were waiting for him, I would suggest we take our final second rest, our short rest... Maybe. Do we let the Dragonborn you... go? Or oh no no no! I'll uh, oh, out of out going? of character. I'll be slitting his throat. No, I got a better idea. <laughs> you, you you burn his book in front of his face? <laughs> no 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 no. My book now. And Vane, you get inspiration for that. Actually, why the hell do I care? I already used my arcane recovery. I can't get anything. Oh well. I say no to rest. Okay, so it looks like no on rest. I will drink a heal pot. Okay. All right, hold on, uh, Kirk. Um, I can always cast you a heal spell if you're bad, bad off. Well, I'm I'm down thirteen, 
I just wanted to t kind of top no. off. The short rest was more for to get my key back. I still have four, but. Well, I I have some spells left, so I could always, I've got uh, three first levels and two second level spells. So I could throw a heal your way so you're not wasting a healing pot. Okay. All right, I'm going to do cure wounds on you, level one. So five. Can I ritually I just let cast? You guys... I ritually cast uh, detect magic as we move. Can I ritually no, cast can... unseen servant? We continue on. That I don't know oh, yeah. off the top of my head. I executed the uh, dragonborn by giving him shock therapy. First, you convinced him that he was an eighty-year-old man through the shock therapy. <laughs> then you killed him. Yes. Um, let's see, Vane, I got, I uh, gave you inspiration for threatening to burn, uh, I'm not here. Good spell book. Yeah. If you actually burn a spell book, you'll get double inspiration. <laughs> no. I, I, if I burnt that, I, I will know kill him. Kit would kill me. Where the hell did Cinder Kit go? I have no idea. I, I clearly so, stood behind because someone wants to burn my spell book. So, like, Cinder Kit was casting Detect Magic, right? Yeah. Virtually? Yeah. As he's doing that, I want to cast Unseen Servant. Okay. And I want to make him walk in front of us. Okay. That's okay. All right. Lasts for an hour, I think. There yep. we go. So to get you back. I also <clears throat> cast Tensor's Floating Morgue and carry the Dragonborn with us. Okay. Can't cast you uh, two... you oh, travel through the maze. Actually, I can because that the second one doesn't require concentration. Oh, cool. You travel through the maze for a good while longer. And then you come to a strange room. The hallway empties into a 40 foot by 40 foot square room, the floor of which is done in checkered tiles of light and dark gray. Immediately opposite yep. your position, a hallway continues further into the maze. The passage is blocked by a large pile of bodies of some sort of reptilian creature. Bodies are stacked in two other piles, one against each of the side walls. Looking closely, you notice movement in among the bodies. Tiny creatures resembling tadpoles move around the piles, stripping the flesh from the bodies. Now, it says tiny in that they're, you know, tiny size, but as far as tadpoles go, these things are very big. And their teeth, they have teeth on them, and they kind of start looking your way and move in your direction. So, yeah, fireball. everyone Do they look like Ithlids? Leeches. Killer leeches. I guess that would make the most sense. So is my instant servant inside the room? Um, good question. I guess I should put an Unseen Servant thing out there for you. We will use... Oh, nice. Quint, he's got his fireball, and he's got a good initiative roll. Ha-ha. <laughs> Where's virtual weapon go? There it is. That Fireball's your, a nice That spell. can be your Unseen Servant. Let me make sure it's editable by everyone. It should be. So you should be able to move that, Ed. It should be like 15 feet in front of us. Okay. That's how much... Sounds good. In front of us. It would be... Everyone, uh, if you're not in initiative, make sure you get initiative. Service. I don't know. He might walk on like a pressure plate and kill himself that way. Oh, you're right. I don't that think unseen work. servants have weight or anything, do they? I think. I think they do. They can carry things that have weight. But that's not the same as having weight yourself. Nothing says that it doesn't have mass to it. It does have a strength of two. <clears throat> it's definitely up to the DM, though. Well, if we can pick up things, I can, I can make it use his hands to push down on the floor. <laughs> there you go. Or its feet. So anything that a creature would trigger, he would trigger. But right. you wouldn't trigger something that isn't that's triggered by magic or anything like that. But if it's a pressure plate, you'd trigger that for sure. Here right now, because he's 15 feet in front of all me. And let's see here. 
invisible, so I don't think they will, will attack him, I think. Okay, armor class of 10, 1 hit point, strength of 2, can't attack, it drops to 0, spell ends. Okay. So you're pushing him forward. As soon as he moves the first 5 feet into the room, right there. So we'll back everyone else up. Since he was 15 feet in front of you. There, there. It is invisible though, there, so. There. That's there. invisible. As soon as he steps the first five feet into the room, lightning arcs up around him and destroys him. But he well, set off some lightning trap as soon as he stepped into the room. It came up Wait, out of the floor, like out of the out of the square he entered. And with that, you see the tadpoles and they start moving. And roll initiative. And which you, most of you have done. One of you is not in there. Check and make sure uh, you're all in there. Well, look who it is. I'm glad I did that kind of move in this game. Nice, yeah. I didn't really expect that to happen, actually. Well, actually, I have Detect Magic. Wouldn't I have noticed? Unless it's a non-magical trap? Um, might have. You just got within range of it the same time he stepped on it. Right? It's 30 All right. Feet. Just a reminder, though, I, I am concentrating on that. Okay. Since I have nothing else to concentrate on anymore. <laughs> no more fireballs. I'm, I'm going to go into Meteor Withdrawal. Someone's not in initiative order. Um, okay, I passed I, I'm not one. in there, but I did roll. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Keep rolling until you get in there, and then change it to your original roll. Uh, what if I don't want to? You have to. Enjoy that eight. Enjoy it. <laughs> okay. All right. Vane, you see the thing light up. You see uh, tadpoles start to move. Let me put them in there for you. There we go. Tadpoles in the body start to move. He can actually see that, because it's really, really dark. I can't see shit. Yeah, I mean, he actually can't see anything in there. Allman can see him. He tells you there's tadpoles and they're moving. Okay. Move here. Okay. I see one tadpole. Yeah, you see one now. You see the edge of the bodies. Cast big bonfire underneath the tadpole. Okay. Let me find a spell. Fill five foot cube, creature in space when cast, 14 dex save, or 13 fire damage. So here's his dex save. He dies. Wait. Is he resistant to fire? He is. So he takes seven fire. And, and there's another one there underneath him that you didn't see. Wait, that one makes a dex a save. Five cube. So and it, fails. Isn't it just his square? Say again? Isn't it just his own square? Yep, but there's another one in the same square. Oh, these are tiny creatures then, huh? Yeah. You don't see him yet. He's kind of underneath bodies and stuff, but you did damage to him too. Okay. I wish I'd give me light, honestly, but it doesn't. Hey, Tom, is, is there a way to change the color of the macro buttons at the top? No. Because that would be cool, because then you could designate spells where people, it would be easier for them to find their macros, especially as you get higher level. Yep. You're taking Quintosis. All right, well, I did my fireball, and I'm putting it right here. Oh, a fireball spell? Yep. All right. And I already rolled it back before initiative, so it's like 32 damage, DC 15. Where are you? There we go. And you will get the whole room. 32 damage, even if they save, kills them all, except they're resistant. So that'd be 32, 16, be yeah. 8 if they save. Okay, so the two that are I've been wounded are dead for sure. And I'm going to go ahead and spend a sorcery point to get resistance to fire for an hour. Okay. And that one's dead. Okay. Now I'll roll saving throws for the rest of them. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 saves. DC 15. Oh, wow. 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm just counting the number of rolls. I've only made two successes so far. 5, 6, 7, that's 3, 8, 4, 9, 10, 11, 5, 12, 14, I say 14, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
six. Six saves. Five saved. Five saved. That last one wasn't there anymore. Okay. So I will just grab these guys. I don't know what Showing it killed, guy, but it sounded like something died. Showing me up with your third level fireball versus my minute meteors. Nice. Okay. So, and these tadpoles all took eight damage. And Quintosis is done. Tadpole I group am. one. Except, can I see them? Can I see any of them? Let's see. Uh, did you actually roll yeah, for damage? I'm good. He did. Yeah, it was yeah. part 32. of the... All right, I, I'll be done, yeah. Okay. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, and then bite almond. That's weird. I don't see the roll for hey, fireball. Uh, isn't it ten pull it's one? It's right above initiative. Yeah, that one is one through ten. Oh, okay. Ah. Bite an almond, 18 to hit, four, six, piercing. Almond? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. 13's a miss. And that's it for that group. Oh, there's one more here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Boom. One Rico, your turn. Chris, you muted. Chris, put it back in your pants. It's your turn. <laughs> oh, sorry, I was plugging in my headset. Um, Is that what you call it now? Yeah. <laughs> the kids are asleep, right? That's right. Uh, I'll shoot at... Oh, that's Gimbal. Uh, I'll shoot at a tadpole. Don't tadpole shoot at me. One. You would get inspiration if you, would get inspiration if you shot at Gimbal. That'd be your only <laughs> chance, Chris. You better take it. <laughs> Not cool you know what, Josh? Cool. I won't go down that way. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> Holy cow, I'm going to have to give you inspiration for that. <laughs> I'm going to use it to buy a poisoner's kit. <laughs> hey, Tom, they're showing they didn't take any damage. I know. I'm just doing this in my head. Oh. Okay. Yeah, trust, me. So trust me. There's one. Wait, wait. You killed, it. you killed the first shot. All right. And second shot's second on. One. Got two of them. Uh, yeah. You Let's can move see. if you like. Uh, No. Okay. Next is Almond. That's a hit and killed him. Move if you like. Move one square at a time, though, if you go in the room. Get the go that did tech magic to go first. Uh, I'm all the way in the back. Mm -hmm. You come up here. I saw lightning. Nothing bad happens. Okay. That's a hit. Nine bludgeoning. Down. And let's see. It was one square uh, at a time. Let's see. One, two, One square at a time. Can you move back to where you were? Oh, it doesn't show you. I, I was stepping, but... Yeah, you got to um, let go of it every time. So you were right here. Go ahead and move your first square from there. Okay, lightning shoots out. Make a dexterity saving throw. No, constitution saving throw. DC 13. Okay. Oh, yeah. Fail it, you take 2d10 lightning. So you take 4 lightning damage. You're so fucking lucky. Oh, shot, shoots out again. Making a DC 13 con save. You made that one, so you're going to take half damage. It's only 1d10. So you on take the stupid... 10, so you take 5 damage. Want to move another square? Nothing bad happens. Uh, light squares are lightning. Are you all done? Uh, no, I've got an, one more attack left. No, you don't. Uh, I did, yeah, I did one up there. Oh, you're right, you're right. Okay. Flurry. Uh, yes. So I'm flurrying. Okay. Where the hell did it go? Uh, Diddy, Danny goes. Okay. All right. All right. After Almond, well, that's it. 
out of rounds, the tadpoles are all dead. And Stay Al on the dark squares. Almond's theory is correct, which your magic determines. The light squares are all trapped with lightning. So move diagonally. So uh, we search all the nests via the dark squares. You um, yeah. don't find anything of value in any of the bodies. The bodies are all, it looks like lizard folk. Piled bodies of lizard folk. Um, I throw the dragonborn that I had on Tensor's Floating Disc in one. Okay. And the lizard folk look like many of them are uh, mutated. Some have extra limbs. Some have strange colorations, some have feathers in place of scales. All sorts of strange things going on with the lizard folk. Okay. Why is one Rico like illuminated in the darkness? Say again? One Rico. I can see him from here in the darkness. I don't know. Uh, Weird um, god. Because I'm awesome. Josh, you wanna give me another heal? Because they're just sure. running straight through the area? Wow, you're brave. I assume, you, I assume you guys are not running straight through the area, right? No. Should I cast another Unseen Servant? Yeah, because it worked well last time. That was pretty awesome. You um, know what? I'll cast an Unseen Servant as well so we can have double. There you go. Then you need to detect magic. I did... Unseen Servant's not a concentration spell, is it? It is. It is? Never mind then. I retained on detect. No, wait. No, never mind. Isn't it? Isn't. Okay. There we go. Then, now we have two squares that are going to be trap finders. Okay. So. Continue on. Okay. I cast certain magic as well then. We've got two tic tac magics going on and two unseen servants. Like yeah. 15 feet in front of us, I guess. And I have a tensor floating disc following me. Of which I will jump on in case anything floods onto the ground. Why, why do you have a disc going? Because I can. I had a corpse on it, and then I threw oh. it into one of these piles. Oh, okay. Okay, now you go through the maze a little bit more, come to the next room. Actually, uh, Vane, can you cast disc? Yeah, I can cast disc. Do it. So uh, now we have two discs. Two discs I'm going to stand on yours. You unseen servants. I'm, I'm going to stand on your disc. Whatever. That's, that's kind of uh, homosexual, isn't it? You're going to stand on his disc? Oh, disc, not... Okay. <laughs> oh. Are you sure he wasn't actually standing on my dick? Because it's pretty large. <laughs> <laughs> it is not proportionate. Okay. Whatever. I'm it's not curious. elevated off the ground. I'm sitting on a disc. Off the ground. here. I think we're abusing our rituals. Ah! You're definitely abusing your rituals. You can rearrange when you get to the next room, no problem. There we go. Okay, so our Unseen Servants are at least 15 feet ahead yep. of us, right? So your Unseen Servants are walking through the room. Uh, when they walk into the room... Um, nothing happens. I tell them to mess with those strange looking things. Nothing happens. I tell them to smash them with as much might as they can muster, <laughs> which isn't much. With their whole two strengths. All right, Almond, you spot something moving in the boulders to your right. I get off the floating disc. And one of the boulders seems to come alive and speak to you and it says the hallway you find yourselves in now ends in a 15 foot by 30 foot room filled with rubble the only other exit in the far wall um, it however is completely perfect in its false appearance of being a stone so it surprises even you Almond. and so everyone put you guys where you want to be when Almond gets there Do we have unseen servants in front of us again? Yeah, yeah, let me put them out there. I call mine Jarvis. One there, and one there. 
and you guys should be able to move them wherever you want. Can I rename them? I don't know if you can or not. You can try. Do we need to roll initiative? Yeah. Um, don't roll yet, though. I Just did a it! Second. Okay, go ahead and roll initiative now. Jarvis! Restrain that buffoon. Wait, can Unseen Servants even take the health action? Uh, you have to use your bonus action to actually get control. Yeah, they, the they work on your bonus actions. But could that work? Could what work? Telling my Unseen Servant to help? To help? No, there's help specific it. things they can do on their bonus action. Okay, in the surprise round... Um, nothing. So you're telling me I can't make my unseen servant pour wine on someone? Yeah, you can. Or make it uh, toss a rock at someone. Yeah, as your bonus action, you can do all that stuff. Or you can so have it would toss that you be off. Technically, a help intent then? No. Damn it. Uh, Gallup one goes. He um, calls forth two others. Gallup's two and three on the surprise round. That is it. Go three goes. He rolls forward and strikes at Allman with a slam attack. Let's see here. Speed 15, 30. 15, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. All right. Slam on Allman. 16 Allman, so that's a miss. Nope. Alm in your turn. Um, Galeb two. Twenty six is a hit, and that does eight bludgeoning to him. Um, sixteen. Sixteen's also a hit. Got it. Uh, flirt. Uh. First attack on that one. Tens a miss. Probably miss. Attack. Miss. miss. Oh. Your turn, Gimbal. I will uh, rape your attack, Galeb 2. Okay. Miss. And I will withdraw. One Using my turn. cunning action. Alright, Kirk, you, you hit three Eight. right no two okay you didn't stun him though right no did not all right we'll shoot him once miss that's gonna miss and miss 13 miss yeah that's fine bane your turn and i'm gonna move back there do i only see three yes um is only three yes only three I cast Fairy Fire on top of all the rock people and our um, Unseen Servants. Fail, fail, and one Our succeeded. Unseen Servants are technically automatically revealed since they have no dexterity. And two and three both are now providing advantage. And Dim Light. Ten, ten, oh, and uh, Dim Light too, yeah. 10 feet of dim light. It's 10 feet dim, 10 feet... It's just purely dim, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Oops. Awesome. The servants are all seen now. Hopefully they'll attack those things. Leave us alone. Uh, after Vayne is Caleb. Well, I use a bonus action to move one of my, my instant servant, like, here. Okay. Now, um, did you do your fair fair? Okay. Did so you make it un punches? So the unseen servants aren't objects, and they aren't creatures, so it won't affect them. They're magical spells. Oh, so they're not really? lit up. Oh, nice. 
I'm confused now what they are. They're spells, right? Yeah. They're spell effects. If they're technically creatures, they have an AC and health. They can be attacked. Um, because they have an AC, you're right. Yeah, so we'll say it affect them. Okay. After you is Quintosis. Uh, no, Galeb 1's got to go, Tom. Oh, yeah. Galeb 1. He has Jarvis and Jeeves standing next to him. <laughs> <laughs> he moves to there and attacks Almond. I think he would want to attack that servant, Tom. You think so? I think he's, so. He's fairly smart. Oh, okay. What's your intelligence, Alman? Ten? Uh, yeah. He's smarter than you. Would you fall for that? Absolutely. You I'm would. retarded. <laughs> <laughs> he created I mean, you, Kirk. Oh, yeah, good. Uh, 16 Does bludgeoning damage. what Unseen Servant is, is my question. <laughs> I don't know. They might not know what it is. Might not know. Might uh, think 16 it's a bludgeoning. Well, it knows invisible people are behind it. 16 bludgeoning, Alman. Got it. Quintos, is your turn. All right, so I see this giant rock creature. Not giant, but... Where am I at? Okay. The two um, ones with green dots are granting advantage on attacks. Yeah. I'm just going to hopefully find out if they are resistant to acid. So these two uh, in the front need to make deck saves. Okay. Deck save. Nope. And deck save. Nope. Nine acid damage. They are not resistant to acid. Nice. Got it. Okay. And then I will That's step back. Point. Gallup 2 goes. He attacks Almond. Slam attack. 16's a miss, though. Yep. Syndicate your turn. Hello, Galeb 3. Meet Scorching Ray. Does 14 hit? No. This is number one. Nope. On okay, number seven. three? This is on number one. Number one, okay. Oh, the one to the south? Yeah. Okay. The one we don't have advantage on. Okay. 20 is a hit, though. Let's see, where was that? Yeah. That does four fire. Okay. I'm just assuming here. Does he have to make a concentration sec? check why would you think that because i've seen lizard folk animate a giant swarm of creatures and then they disappeared when i i had nuked the creatures <laughs> after he took one point of damage which was fucking bullshit <laughs> this time i'm trying something new uh nothing happened okay anything nope. else fuck that shit then i'm just gonna nuke the one in front of me then okay four 26 is a hit for 11 Okay. And I'll use Jarvis to go and poke that one in the back. Caleb 3 goes. 3 attacks Almond with a slam. 16's a miss. Almond, your turn. Okay. Uh, Galeb to the northeast. 23's a hit. 25's a hit for 9 bludgeoning. <laughs> 7 bludgeoning. Uh, I'll do Flurry again. Okay. 25 hit for 8 bludgeoning. And 19 hit for 9 bludgeoning. That's a lot. Didn't kill him? Nope. Jesus. These things are strange. Um, on that last one... Oh, uh, shoot. Make him do a uh, no reactions on him. Okay, got it. And next go is um, Gimble. Okay, rapier attack against uh, Galeb 2. Reminds me, uh, do I detect any magic in the area? Do you detect magic in the area? I do? Um, yes, you do. Both of the... Both of the... Um, 
There's magic on both of the ones to the north. Ah, uh, goddamn fairy fire. And those unseen. Don't know if that's servants. giving a false negative now. There's also yeah. There's also uh, unseen servants in the area. There's also uh, a tensor's floating disc in the area. So there's, there's lots of magic around. <laughs> does a sixteen hit? Uh, sixteen does, yeah. So that's going to be fourteen damage total. Got it. Okay, disengaging. Yes, cunning action. All right, Juanrico, your turn. I didn't kill it. No. Good night. But it's got fairy fire, so that killed it. Down All it goes. All right. And then uh, the one. Just to the east of Kirk. Okay. 16 hit and did 18 piercing to it. It does resist. Not Hold on. Piercing. So do I not get... Is it a 16 or is it a 20? Do I get advantage or no? Um, yeah, you do. You get advantage. And you but you hit, hit okay. anyway. Both would have hit. Right. I just wanted to make sure yeah. because I'm going to um, use my bonus to attack two more times. Have you taken a rest since you did that last time? I think so. Didn't we take a short rest? No, I think you took you one before you, you went into the pyramid. You yeah, I didn't use it. Yeah, we, we have not taken, We've taken a we the pyramid. I don't think I used that in the pyramid. Okay. Right? I don't know. Your I don't character. So. I yeah, I don't, yeah, think, I don't think, I think he have, has. No. Um, so. Well, that'll hit. So 20 more. So 10 more. And 17. And eight more. Got it. Okay. Vane, your turn. Uh, is there any metal on these guys? No. Um, Certainly no manufactured metal. My level three magic missile, the one without. No, hit the one with very fire. Okay, fire away. Everything I have on him. Okay. You said third level. Yes. Eighteen damage. 18. Do your wild surge. Okay, and one's turn. He attacks Almond. 20 to hit Almond for 11 bludgeoning. Come on and slam. Quintosis, your turn. And welcome to the jam. All right. Um, I'm going to step back up and make both Caleb Durs make uh, deck saves again. Okay. The one to the north. Fail. The one to the south. Fail. They both take 8 acid. Um, and I will spend two sorcery points to do it again. One to the north, fail, one to the south. Made it, so the one to the north took seven acid. Okay, got it. All right. And then I'm going to step back as to where. Your turn, Syndicate. Zap. Shocking grass, the one to the north. Oh, nice shocking grass, too. That does uh, 14 lightning damage, which they don't resist at all. Oh, shit. Anything else? Joseph, you're muted. Or you just dropped off the call. No. You there? Did the call drop? No, you're there. I hear you. Okay, that's all I can do. Wait, is he not dead? Not dead. Um, Cut like one hit point. I make Jarvis throw a rock at him. Okay. Unfortunately, he has a negative modifier of, like, negative five, so the damage three. he does is negative five. Caleb three attacks Almond with a slam. 24 mm. hit Almond for 15 bludgeoning. My god, welcome to the slam, man. 
And Alman, your turn. Okay. First attack. 21 hit. Eight bludgeoning drops him. Um, and second attack, south miss. Syndicate, you should have a light spell going, right? I should. I, I don't lighting die. stuff up. Double check your token here. I'm it's gonna do. Because you abandoned my other token. Step of the wind is a bonus That's right. action. That's why. And go to there. Okay, Gimbal, your turn. Okay. Well, Gimbal, help me. I'm the only thing left. I'm gonna. Mm. I think I'm gonna go back and heal Kirk. <laughs> no, go ahead and attack. Are you gonna wink at Cinderkit when you leave him like that? <laughs> I, the, the, very much <laughs> thinking about it. <laughs> Those what's your, Those don't worry stick about together. Me. Attack. What's your, what's your armor class, Cinderkit? Seventeen. Ah, so you got a better armor class than me, anyways. So we will do a second level cure, uh, second level cure wounds on Kirk. Juanrico, go ahead. Well, that was a waste oh. of a second level spell song. <laughs> Ouch! Thank you. And then, as my cunning action, I'm going to uh, dash. Okay, your turn, Chris. So is that? Uh... That damage is it just knocks off the first ten, right? That no, it's half. half. What damage? Oh, all right. Thirteen hit. Nope. That there you hit. go. Eight piercings. That is four piercing to him. All right. I'm Bane. done. Help. Wait, there's only one left, right? Yeah. Right. One left. Right. Correct. Yes. Okay. Do you want me to hurt it, or do you want me to make it try and not hurt people? Not hurt, hurt people. Kill it. Kill okay. It. I wish, I wish <laughs> my You're gonna get a different answer from everybody. I guess I tried vicious mockery just you know because it's taking too long. Yeah. Not that roll. Fourteen will save. Wisdom save. Okay, so he's a. Viciously mocked. Takes seven psychic damage. Your mother was a pile of mud. <laughs> and he goes next. And wait, wait, wait. I bonus, action, bonus action move Jeeves here. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> <laughs> he well attacks done. Jeeves. Jeeves, uh, Jeeves is gone. Then he moves to here. And he's done. Quintosis, your turn. Mm -hmm. Can people not move through the Unseen Servant? Your turn, I don't Quintosis. know how that works. Because I don't know how that works, too. But it's a thing, right? It has force. Quintosis, you might be muted. It does have force. Guys, stop talking. It's Quintosis' turn. Oh, sorry. Um... All right, so what is he doing? He uh, looks like he's lining up to roll towards you and bash you into tiny pieces. Oh, well, I don't want that. So um, <clears throat> go ahead and make an intelligent saving throw. Phantasmal force. What are you going to do to him? <laughs> uh, he's gonna think he wants he's that kind of roll. Yeah, he's, he thinks he's engulfed in Okay. And does it do what damage I when you I cast it? I was going to say... Again? Okay, it does on your turn. Let's see. Yeah, it's. I don't think it does it the first turn. I don't okay. know. I guess it's up to you, but... Okay. 
every DM I've had before says it waits till the next turn after it yeah, tries to do the like uh, investigation. Or the way I read it, it seems you like it would do it on the same turn. Mitosis. Syndicate, your turn. I'm thinking about what I want to do. And Quintosis, you don't have to stay there if you don't want to. You can keep Oh, moving. yeah. That's a shame. I was about to do the same thing that you just did. I don't think Except there's anyone was... that's going to complain about having two Phantasmal Forces on it. Thing is, it's not good for our uh, economy. Why wouldn't the damage go on the first turn? There's no reason it wouldn't. Make a DC 15 saving throw for con? Wait, casting a God rock damn, what am I save? doing? You got him. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently I made a rock make a con save. Yes, you did. Okay, then move where you want to move. All I, think I, I even asked myself, like, what the fuck am I doing? Um, boy, he's... Uh... He might want to move up. Yeah. Go to there and ready an attack. Gimbal, your turn. Okay, I'm going to move. And rape your attack. Now, is he, by being adjacent to the Unseen Servant, is he adjacent to an ally that allows me to do sneak attack damage? No. no. Are you sure? All day long. Don't try to <laughs> cheat that system, man. <laughs> I, and now I'm going to disengage. It already blocked it from attacking one of us. Don't ask too much of it. Yeah, I mean, that was already good. These are freaking throwaway spells. Any you guys gotta have like hammers or something that could hurt it more than piercing? I, I, can, I can hurt it, but I've only got 14 hit points, so I get hit once, I'm done. I think if our uh, monk proved anything, this guy is not vulnerable to bludgeoning. He well, he takes full damage, though, from bludgeoning. Right. Yeah, for some reason. Or was it because you were using a magic weapon? Hey, uh, Quintosis, go ahead and roll a d6 for damage. I don't see any reason why I don't do damage on the first turn either. I know, it's weird. If you're making an illusion that, that makes it think it's taking damage and it's always on your turn, right? Mm -hmm. So, Quintosis, roll a d6, please. Might be muted. Uh, where, how do I roll a d6? Oh, go to the menu on the left-hand side and there's a little uh, icon of d20. Click on it and then it'll Got pull it. up some windows for you to roll a d6. Three. Okay, so we took three damage from the gelatinous cube acid. Um, Kimball, you're done. Did you hit? I wasn't looking. Uh, yeah, I did. Uh, eight damage. Okay. Well, and four damage. Four because it's not magic. Correct. Got it. Okay. Um, Monrico, your turn. All right. I'm gonna try the high damage stuff and hope that I can hit. Nope. <laughs> there we go. Twenty-one. Twenty-one does ten. Bane, your turn. Um, hold on, I need to see what this does. Save me, Jarvis. I just want to read what Capul does just first before I cast it. Can I throw a flask of oil as the Capul item? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's one that. of the most common co combinations with that spell. At the, at the rock guy. Okay. So you need to cast it again. Or... Yeah, reroll. You were just testing it the first time, right? DC Should have made him keep the first one because it just did more damage. Negates. Okay, so he takes no damage. Missed him. Damn. I lose a flask of oil. Where's the flask of oil splash? The oh, we'll say down the hall somewhere. Damn. After Vane is his turn. Takes damage really on awesome your turn, speed. so he's not going to stay in that area, that's for sure. It doesn't matter. He thinks he's trapped in a gelatinous cube, right? So the cube's moving with him. He doesn't know what a gelatinous cube is. He's trying yep. to get out of it, is what he's doing. Okay. So did so he, he make his out. investigation check? 
No, he's just leaving it. He's getting out of that spell. Right? Nothing stopping him from just moving away, right? Well, Unless he's saying that the Jadot is cues like glued to him. It's really up know. to Quinn. The it's spell doesn't move. Of... The spell doesn't yeah. move, does it? His the spell his doesn't brain exist. Will... It's in his mind. It's, it's yeah. It's yeah, all in his mind. It has to mind. rationalize that it's always in the effect. No, he doesn't no, have to he do doesn't. that. He has yeah, to he rationalize will... how the effect affects him. Oh, yeah. if he stepped on a bridge and fell, he'd rationalize that he somehow missed the bridge. If he moves out of a gelatinous cube and gets out, he rationalizes he got out. Right. I get... Actually, yeah, you're right. right. That does make more right. sense. He's so convinced of its reality that he can even take damage from it, which he did. <clears throat> and it was D6 psychic damage. And the Phantasm has a range of 60 feet. Craft Illusion takes root in the mind. But the, then it goes on further down below to say each round, if he stays within 5 feet of it, he takes damage. So I don't think it moves. Otherwise, they wouldn't say if he stays within 5 feet of it. That's very true. Okay, anyway, he's getting out of that. Um, and he will roll. Two, three, four, and charge Bane. So, what? Slam attack? Oh my <laughs> god. Bane, do you want to th uh, throw a shield, shield spell out? <laughs> I thought you might. 18 miss? Is that disadvantage? Yeah, enough? shield. Okay. Something miss. Next to go is Quintosis. All right. Um, Brom, guys, I'm out of all one doing slots. nothing then. What are you gonna do? What are you doing, Contosis? I'm deciding. So, for all intents and purposes, it thinks there's a giant in his cube here. Yeah. All right, well, let's do acid splash. Maybe uh, it'll rationalize that the gelatinous cube's eating it again. Splashed acid on it. Um, deck save. You made it. You can move if you like. And syndicate your turn. Um, what do I want to do? Probably not cast uh, Phantasmal Force. That would be an amazingly powerful spell if it effectively acted like a gelatinous cube. Well, if uh, if you made it like a python wrapped around his neck, then he would fight to... So you just got to be more creative in the in your description. I don't think it's doing. that powerful of a spell. It's more yeah, like I, you can make an illusionary bridge, you can block a passage with the illusionary acid. If they can it, it, he, get away from it, they will get away from it. Yeah, and like I said, not, his mind, the way the spell works is his mind would rationalize how it is he was able to move away from the constrictor snake. It doesn't mean that the snake's not going to chase other. him. The, yeah, it can't chase him because it only because it doesn't move. True. But if it's wrapped around his neck. But the phantasm doesn't move. And it doesn't stop him from moving. So when he moves, like his mind would rationalize that the snake, uh, you know, happened to loosen at just the right moment that he was able to escape. It's not really a good attack spell. It's more like a blocking spell. Then why have it do damage? I, I just someone tries to move across it. Very, very low damage. Yeah, it is very low damage. I would not try and do gelatinous cube on other DMs, guys. That just seems pretty uh, far-fetched. A little bit too powerful of a spell to be trying to trick that way. I just I'm, think I normally just make uh, if the creature think it's fighting something else. Mm -hmm. Because it'll rationalize that, I have to fight this thing. Your turn, Syndicate. Well, that's kind of the point I already of the gelatinous did my cube. Turn. I fire bolted for four damage. Four damage. Minus four. Okay. It's Almond's turn now. Almond, your turn. All right. Uh, here goes. Bring the wood, Kirk. Fourteen probably misses. 
14 miss, Tom? Uh, 14 does miss. 15? 15 misses also. Ah, shit. 26 hit for 5 yep. bludgeoning. Gimbal, your turn. Rapier. <clears throat> 23 is a hit for 14 or 7. And I'm going to give Juan Rico my last uh, Bardic Inspiration. Um, you could do additional damage um, as well as adding to your d20, Chris. All right. Your turn, Juan Rico. In that case... So 13 doesn't hit, right? You got you to gotta decide before. Okay, well, but not on my precise attack. 13 doesn't hit? So if you want to, you can add a d6 to that 13 roll to see if it does hit. Or you can forego that and use, and then I'll tell you if it's or not. Uh, but with okay. 22 damage, I... No, but here's the deal. So my precise attack will turn that to a 16. Does that hit? So you're using that? Yeah. That hit. Okay. So 11. And... There we go. And nice. another 10. Nice. Down he goes. Good job. Sweet. <laughs> 41 points of damage. No, yeah. that Josh, that uh, precise shot is a D8, which is why I wanted to use that instead of D6. No, I completely understand. I didn't know that you had that precise shot. Period. Dang, man. It's one of the best things in the game. All right. Let's see if he had anything. And I propose we do the short rest now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, look, I still haven't Chill. I still haven't taken any damage. I don't know what we need the rest for. The meat shield. Look, why don't you why don't you rub some dirt on it and sack up? Yeah, what's the did. button I pressed for my <laughs> hit dice? The, uh, you just have to roll those regular. The Galabder had no treasure on him. So you want to do a rest? I think that was the majority, yeah. right? Uh, can you make yeah. sure these don't, there's no more like magic things around us? Uh yep, I no have more magic things around you. I have to take magic going for this whole duration. Hold on. Uh, let me check to see what rituals I have. Might be important. And uh, and for any best. of you guys uh, playing at home, we want to check out what was happening during that combat. I was rolling concentration checks every time you got hit. <laughs> I, God, I had no reason to think that after it <laughs> did. Fuck! <laughs> what? Well, Those one, of the Gallab summons. one of the Gallimders was just animating the other ones, and he had to make concentration checks every time he took damage, and he did. Uh, son of a bitch. Good. That's um, I cast Leoman's Tiny Hut. Alright, nothing that attacks you while you guys are taking your short rest. Not like it could. Um, and Almon, uh, you get, or, yeah, Almond, you get to add 2d6 for Song of Rest to okay. your uh, healing. Yeah. Okay. Too bad you don't have a paladin. You could dish out one hit point to everyone plus 2d6. Oh, I know. That'd be awesome. Anybody else who, who decides to do healing gets 2d6. Yep. So I just casted all of these as rituals. The horse is in front. Jarvis is behind it. <laughs> The disc is behind me, and detect magic is on me. <laughs> Alright, so I am completely I, I need a out of hit die. Because the, the horse is now going down this aisle. Well, you know, the horse doesn't say he's like a horse. You have to ride him. You can't use him as a blocking wall. If you look at the spell, it doesn't say he becomes a... Uh, that, that you can move him around, right? Other than by riding him. So we are short resting, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Came back a slot. Alright. It says it's a creature, it doesn't say it's just a spell. Well, just the good news is we're not casting him in this maze, so we don't have to worry about it. I just did cast him in this maze. <laughs> 
Yeah, so for the duration, you or a creature you choose can ride the steed. The creature uses that statistic. Jarvis, for a ride the horse, steed! Except it, it, Jarvis isn't a creature. Vain, ride the steed. <clears throat> so, where are you going to. Okay, so you wander through the maze. Can you on? And you come to the last room. Dun, dun, dun. I guess I feel dread because we don't have any third level spells left. Come, Jarvis. Re uh, I still need set to up your guys however you want. I still need to do my roll for my healing. Go ahead. Jarvis is ahead of the party. Does he set off anything? Nope. Thanks. Do I detect like any magic other than the party? Go. I use one to die anyway, so I use my sorcerer to die, I guess. You guys hear something big, wings flapping high up in the in the room. The ceiling arcs up very high here, up to about 40 feet high in the room. Of course, you can only see about 60 feet into it. Anyone got 120 foot dark vision? Your owls do, but they're both away, right? Yeah. Okay, but you guys hear it, so you're not surprised. We'll roll initiative. There's something deep in that room making the sound. Oh, I really wish I had an inspiration to roll for this. At least I have all my first level slots ready. Uh, Chris, since you've never had it, just to remind you, you do have inspiration for this combat. <laughs> I don't I don't even know what that is. Yeah. I don't even know what it does, Kurt. <laughs> you still have a uh, bardic inspiration, too. That's right. I do know what that does. Uh, are you sure? Because that only lasts for 10 minutes. We're missing one person. It hasn't been 10 minutes yet. Yeah, yeah we did a short rest. We did short oh, rest. that's right. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about the short rest. You know, <laughs> don't you get it? What? Get and it and Chris, Josh's inspiration stays with me for a while. Chris, you're in, days. When, I, when I give you inspiration, that wears off in about a minute. So <laughs> <laughs> that's gone too. <laughs> Come on, Gibble. <laughs> missing one person on initiative. Gimbal looks Sorry like, about that. Yeah, there we that go. My bad. Okay. All right. Boom. Okay, you guys hear something big flapping its wings at least 50 feet in the room or more and coming your way. Guys, it's a rock. If it's a dragon, I've got this. I've already driven off, driven off one. I've killed two. I'm pretty sure it's go my ahead, friend, the owl, Mr. Peepers oh. or whatever. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say fuck you now. <laughs> and, uh, because I know that I'm just going to do something bad. Yeah. Uh, we'll Run do that. that. Step of the wind, nice. Uh, okay. What's in there? Can you see in the dark? How, how far up in the air is he? Uh, 30 feet. Okay, so I'm going to jump. You won't jump okay. that high. Uh, can I do it off the wall? No. Come on. Can't do it off the wall? No. You can high jump seven feet times three, so 21 feet. Uh, boot and my boots and uh, boots of striding and sp springing. Right. So seven feet because of your 18 strength and times three because of your boots. 21 feet. Uh, athlete doesn't add to that. No. Do you need more, like, movement or something? I need to get higher. Does movement help you? No. And you need to go uh, back where you were in the room, because you saw something, so you have to oh, use okay. that much movement so far. Well, I was, uh, I'm, can I position, I can position myself anywhere up and down that no. spot. No, you have to move to where you're moving to. No, 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 what I'm saying, Tom, that it's the same movement whether I'm there or it here. It is, but you moved up to there. So go to where you moved to when you first saw him. Okay. Guys, I see a Hydra. One, two, three. A Hydra. <laughs> or something worse. Six. Hail Hydra. I look a vein. Hail Hydra. <laughs> what? You killed the Hydra. Hey, uh, Tom, now here's a question. Uh, do my monk powers are do they I can stun with a monk weapon too, correct? Oh, wait, never mind. It's not a Hydra. 
you Kirk, I think I the answer to that is yes. You hit with a melee weapon attack. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and rule that a yes. <laughs> okay. And you know what, Kirk? Like a, if he throws I'm going to give dagger, you some inspiration for attack? asking me that question. <laughs> a thrown weapon is considered a melee attack, isn't it? So, Almond, your best... No, it's not. So your best chance, Almond, is to go somewhere and ready an attack. Or throw okay. something at him. Your what choice. if you threw somebody? Would that be a melee weapon? Yeah, I'll go underneath him and Someone ready an attack. Okay. Uh, Vane, your turn. Okay, so I have to walk through these guys. Is that difficult terrain? Yeah, it is. I can't walk through these guys. Let me stuck at the square where uh, Cinder Kid is. So what happens? It's a shame that you're not on the horse, the quasi-real <laughs> horse, and had a hundred movement speed. Um, is there anything I can do? Take a dash is... action and get through the fucking room. So you can see what's hovering above Almond, right? Because Almond's illuminating it. Yes. What do so I see? You see uh, Chimera, thirty feet in the air. A chimera? Yep. Head of a lion, head of a dragon, and the head of a goat on the body of a lion with great dragon-like wings. One might have to wonder why Natural Selection put a head of a herbivore on this predator. I will cast level 3 magic missile at it. Alright. That nice. is 10, 18, 20 damage. Nice shot. Okay. Thomas Thanks. says you could, have, uh, you could have allowed me a strength check to jump higher than that. Gimbal, your turn. <laughs> I like that he just ignores you, Kirk. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Could I'm have. Going to... Could have done that. If 21 feet wasn't outrageous already. He's got magic shoes, all yeah. right? That's why he's getting more than seven feet. <laughs> I'm going to draw my short bow and okay. shoot at the Chimera. Fire away. And because he has not gone yet, I have advantage. Yep. Think if we would let him study him for a minute, he <laughs> could have. Does a 15 uh, hit? A uh, 15 hits. Nice damage. Oh, yeah. 14 damage to him. Next to go is the Chimera. Okay. He's got three targets. Cinderkit and Buddies. Or I'm not a target. I'm not a target. Uh, I'm not a target. Gimbal or Almond. So one through three, it's going to be Gimbal. Four through six, Almond. Almond it is. He's not going to waste a breath. Thanks for tanking for us, by the way. Say it? Oh, yeah. Almond, take your attack, or you're ready to attack. If somebody wanted to give me inspiration, that might be great. Um, huh, what is this inspiration you talk about? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Oh, wait, I still have some. You can have my inspiration. Um, okay, I... I okay. just realized this, but Vayne still Chimera. has a important role. 25 hit. 6 damage. Stunning strike. I... Con save. I want to port this to one. Oh, stunned he is. <gasps> nice. Ball sack. <laughs> Kirk, can you hear that? You know what the sound of that is? A raping about ready to happen. <laughs> um, after. Okay, so that was his turn. One Rico, your turn. I'm all oh, rolls, guys, for porting. Oh, it is. One, That's two, it. three. What, what was that? All I'm right. out of port and rolls now. Use them all. So, there's a 16. And does a 15 hit him? A 15 does, yes. 
All right. So then I'm going to action surge. 16 and 21 then, so 37. Uh, 22. 22 hit for 21. And ah, 20 ah. hit for 22. <laughs> nice job. Tag Boom. Back nice again. work. You should all get inspiration for that, but I'm not giving anyone any more inspiration until <laughs> <laughs> Chris uses his. <laughs> I did. I gave it you to did? Kirk. Oh. Yeah. Let's take that off your guy then. Well, no, Kirk didn't use it though. Before I forget. Yeah. I can oh. Is the fight over? The fight he is over. He didn't have to use it because he uh, stunned the Chimera. Oh, all right. No, no, no. I, I used it on the attack, but I would have hit anyway, but I wanted to make sure we hit. That's all right. I like nice to job. think of my inspiration as a little rock that I just rub. In the corner of the room, up high, there's a nest of sorts that the thing had. He had some uh, gold and gems piled up there worth 200 gold pieces. And that is all that is there. I run around the room with the tech magic on. Outside of this, no other magic. Outside of this room, you find a set of stairway, a stairway going up. Um, and that marks the midpoint of the adventure, and the break for tonight. Eighty-two. Awesome. Everyone, uh, just make sure you record where your stuff is at, because you might not get an extended rest right away before we start the next session. Okay. Okay. And we start oh, again all, tomorrow. I, I still haven't taken a hit, so I'm all right. 8 p.m. Uh, yeah, I've time. taken one damage. I've got so seen, <laughs> like Tina Turner on. Uh... Now, 8 8 p.m. <laughs> like I was saying in my email, Tom, I'm gonna be probably a little late getting okay. in, but I should be in by 8:30. Okay. Sounds good. Thank right. you, gentlemen. Nice work on Thank the uh, uh, double. Nice work on the mage. Stop in the ice uh, cone of cold. And oh, yeah. Nice work on the Chimera, too. <laughs> yeah, double magic. Uh, <laughs> that was three counter spells. Three counter yeah. spells in one round. Pretty nice. Yep. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Uh, should we record hey, experience Kirk, I'll see or you. anything right now? I guess yep. some of us level? No, you or... don't get a chance to level. You get experience okay. at the end of the adventure. But Okay. Do we hey. add anything to our logs, or should we just do that? Tomorrow? No, just yeah, there'll just be one log entry. Okay. All right, guys. See you all tomorrow. All right. See ya. Night. Night. See, ya. See you, Tom.